Anonymous. It's Ashley from Bookaholics Anonymous, and this is another book talk. So, I have Save the Date by Morgan Matson, and this was the first book I read by Morgan Matson, and I really enjoyed it. It's pretty much just a, you know, fluffy contemporary, just like most contemporaries. <clears throat> I said most, not all of them. Um, so this one is basically about a um, girl whose older sister is getting married and her family, all her brothers and her brothers and stuff are all over the U.S. So they kind of have to come together for the wedding and pretty much things ensue. So, and it doesn't really go the way she was planning it to go. So it's kind of just a whole mess. But the thing I liked, I think, the most about it was it had all the family. And you don't see family that much in YA. You do, but not, you know, a whole bunch. And even though there's uh, some twists and stuff kind of near the end and you learn a little bit more about the family, it's still, this family is still there. Like the mom, the dad, the brothers, the sister. Um, you know, the sister's soon-to-be husband, friends of the family, there's uncles that come from, um, to come for the wedding, there's family members from the groom that come to the wedding, it's just a whole bunch of family, and that's something you just don't see often, and it's really nice to actually see that sort of thing in the story. And then, um... And so there's that, and then there's kind of, off to the side, there's kind of this little romance going on with um, Charlie. She likes, she's always like had a crush on her brother's, one of her brother's friends. And um, you got that, and then you got the wedding planner who shows up and kind of, she starts kind of. Well, I guess, I don't know if she really falls for him at the beginning. It kind of just happens, I think. And <clears throat> so the wedding planner, um, at first, her brother, I think, bought her like a wedding plan, bought his sister a wedding planner to help her and stuff. And this, the wedding planner that they hired kind of flaked out and left and didn't say anything to anybody. And so the last minute they had to find a replacement, and this replacement was, um, I think his name was Bill. His name was Bill, yes. And so Bill and then his, I believe it was his father who's the owner of this um, wedding planner called Will, Will, where there's a, I can't even remember now. I can't remember where there's a will or something, because his name is Will, I, I can't remember, it was kind of catchy, but I can't remember what it was, but yeah, so I just, I just, I don't know, I loved it, I like, and also there's like more to the story, because her mother is a, kind of like a comic, um, she writes a comic about the family that's called Grant Central Station, and so that's in here too. And it's kind of like the last hurrah for that comic strip as well. So they're, that's incorporated with the wedding. And it's just, there's a whole bunch of stuff going on with this story. And it's just, I don't know, it's really cute and funny at times. And just just everything that goes wrong, just, it's, I don't know. Like, it's the worst time for stuff to go wrong. <laughs> But it makes the story, like, as you can tell pretty much from the cover, it's just not happening. You got alarms going off, you got the crazy uncle, you got, like I said, the wedding planner that just kind of up and left, you got, um, what are some, there's a, there's a paper girl in the story that they're always watching because they're thinking that she's not delivering the paper. There's a crazy next door neighbor who keeps calling the cops. It's just, it's hilarious at times. And it's and then you have, of course, you see the little puppy down here. 
that's waffles and he kind of the um news station that is going to do a story on the grand central station brings him because there's a dog in the comic so they want the dog at the house as well and so he's just kind of left here he just left over and it's just so cute and i just i don't know it's adorable and poor charlie just <sighs> she just gets into so much mess so many messes and stuff and just I don't know. Then you got Charlie and her friend, um, Siobhan. And just, and Charlie trying to figure out where she wants to go to college. And there's just a whole bunch of stuff going on here. And at times I feel bad for Charlie because they all, everyone seems to try to look to her to fix the problems. And she's just like, what am I supposed to do? You know? Stuff happens with the preacher, uh, the broom suit, and just, she's like, I feel, I feel for her. Because all she wants is for her family to be together. All she wants is that last moment where they're all together and having fun and playing games like they used to. And she just doesn't want that to fall apart. And she's trying so hard to keep it together and it's just not working for her. But there are times in the story where, you know, it works. And it's just, yeah, I will probably definitely read some more from this author. Because like I said, I did really enjoy it and <laughs> everything about it. Um, so if you guys have read the story, let me know what you thought about it. And all the craziness that was this book. And if you haven't, if you like contemporaries and you like, you know, family-oriented com contemporaries and you like just sometimes humor and funny stuff happening between the characters, this is definitely the book. So, yeah. Um, if you have any questions for me, go ahead and leave them below. I will see you guys next time. Bye.